still ahead, 140 vintage metal lunchboxes are on display right now at the Sand Springs Historical Museum. They're only part of a much larger lunchbox collection, and News on Six's Rick Wells is on the story, new at five. It's a disease, I guess. Can't, uh, can't stop. Mike Baldridge started collecting these lunchboxes back in 1990. Found a G.I. Joe for 50 cents. This would be something neat to collect. So uh, I picked it up and never looked back. Been picking them up ever since. Here's the history lesson. In 1950, the Aladdin Company printed images of Hopalong Cassidy on metal lunchboxes. And that was the start. The last one in the series of 1985, Rambo. That's the collecting sweet spot, 1950 to 85. Lunch boxes since are reproductions or otherwise not collectible. His favorite, 1968 Star Trek. That attracts both lunchbox people and Trekkie fans. It's in particularly good shape, which makes it a real prize. The lunch boxes featured images of favorite TV shows, movies, cartoon characters. It was a big deal for kids to have the latest, greatest lunch box. And now it is, again, for collectors. Here's a really nice Hello Kitty, except Clint scratched his name into it. Do you know who Clint was? I don't know. Nope. Clint, he's got your lunchbox. Mike has 140 of his collection here. He has more than 400. Always looking for good ones. Bought this Adam Ant lunchbox a couple of weeks ago here in Sand Springs. On the scene on the story at the Historical Museum, Rick Wells, News on 6.